Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's tackle the situation where we have a junction in the pipe and so we start from a place where I have a greater diameter and therefore a greater cross-sectional area and now the pipe splits up into two or more smaller sections. What happens? Well first let's explore the idea that the pipe doesn't change and here we have a cross-sectional area A1 and there we have a cross-sectional area A2 velocity v1 and velocity v2. So nothing changes in the pipe, it stays horizontal, it stays at the same altitude or the same elevation, and therefore if the cross-section areas are the same by necessity, the velocities must be, be the same because a1 v1 must equal a2 v2. Remember that the amount of fluid flowing through the pipe per unit time, delta v delta t, is always going to be equal to the product of the cross-section area times the velocity, and if neither one of them changes, the other one cannot change either, then everything remains constant. Even when the pipe changes elevation, so that this is at a greater height, notice if the cross-sectional areas are the same, then by necessity, the velocities must be the same. Then taking a look at the Bernoulli's equation, Knowing that the velocities remain the same, but h2 is greater than h1, the only way that can be compensated for then is not by the change in velocity, but by the change in the pressure. So since h2 is greater than h1, that can, the equation can then only can remain equal, the left side can only remain equal to the right side. If h2 is bigger than h1, that means that p1 must then be bigger than p2. So by pushing something to a higher elevation, a greater height, that will then require a greater amount of pressure here to compensate for that additional height. Well, splitting up a pipe into two smaller sections has kind of the same connotation, the same meaning, because we now understand that by having a smaller diameter pipe, the internal friction in the pipe is going to be greater. There's going to be greater opposition to the flow of the fluid, and therefore we're going to have what we call frictional head loss, as if we're pushing the fluid onto a higher elevation. Now, even though this appears to be higher or lower elevation, this is simply a split in the pipe, assuming that they remain at the same elevation, but yet it will act as if we're pushing it up to higher elevation. Again, the velocities cannot change because of the split. We can still say that the amount of fluid going into the junction must equal the fluid coming out of the junction, and therefore, we can say that A1 V1, the product of the area cross-section area times velocity here, which is of course the sum of all the delta V delta T's going into the junction, equals the sum of the delta V delta T's out, A2 V2 plus A3 V3. V3. But again, nothing can change except for additional pressure to overcome the additional friction forces here. It's not going to change the velocity unless, of course, the pressure is not available to push a greater amount of fluid or uh, the fluid through at a greater velocity, then, of course, the velocity will slow down, but it will slow down uniformly throughout the entire pipe. In other words, if you were for some reason to create a greater frictional force here, then less fluid will flow unless you provide the additional force to push the fluid through. The same would happen here. But ultimately, what we're interested here is to say, well, what would be the velocities in the smaller pipes and the only thing we need to worry about is this equation right here, that a1 v1 here must equal the sum of the a times v of all the pipes. Let's say there's three or four or five pipes from the, coming from the junction. We simply would add up all the products of a2 v2, a3 v3, a4 v4, and so forth, until the sum of all the ones on the right equal a1 v1 on the left. And so that is therefore the only thing that will change. We'll need a greater pressure here to push it through the two smaller pipes instead of having stayed with the same wide pipe all the way through. That's the only difference, and that is how it's done.